Junior lightweights here. Alexander Guliev in the blue corner. Jan Masek in the red. Guliev from Ukraine, Masek from Czech Republic, the host country, the beautiful Prague. And we know Guliev has a great head and arm triangle choke. We've seen him finish in this competition with that previously. So watch out if the blue corner goes to the ground. Nice leg kick. The Mastek and the crowd respond. Mastek looking for those power punches, close range. Nice level change for Guliev. Guliev now looking for the elevation. He's caught in this triangle, uh, excuse me, guillotine position. Just be careful about when he takes his fight to the ground to make sure he passes to the opposite side of the choking arm. See there, that's why Masek's looking to funnel his arm down just to clinch both of his hands together. Good takedown defense here from Masek. Pummeling the arm in. That's the key here. The second he gets that pummel in, you can noticeably see the difference between him getting taken down and kind of losing his balance to now starting to get more of a base underneath him. He's able to throw a few strikes. 
He's able to try and see the way out here. Guliev looking to elevate his opponent. Off the cage, gets it. Beautiful work. Might give up the bottom position, however, straight back to his feet. Single leg now for Guliev. Runs the pipe beautifully. Masek not accepting the, the takedown here. And that prompted Guliev to control the legs to pull his hips away from the cage and out from underneath him. He's now going to look to the leg lace and move into the mount. He's got to pull Masek off the cage to do that. See there, he takes the sideways angle. Potentially could skip off for an armbar here. Has the back. He's a little bit high for the optimal control, however. You could argue he has one hook across the body. Could go to a body triangle here. Looks like he's trying to maneuver that left arm of Masek for an armbar. Rops to get the hooks in now. Masek trying to shake. Kuliev off of his back. Kuliev now rolling to his back. Gives up the top position to Masek. And that could be a catastrophic mistake here. Later on in round one, Kuliev giving up the bottom position. Just got a bit overzealous with the ground and pound. I'm sure he'll make that adjustment down to the second round if he sees that position again to maintain those hooks. Keep the position. And not finish the round off of his back. scramble and shoot after that. There's the back control here. And Masek did a good job of trying to buck his opponent off and, and covering his head. Only of looking for the knee bar there briefly and that enables him to get shooken off and end up on his back. Massive success when he gets his hands on his opponent up against the cage. Masek has got to make that adjustment. Nice kick to the face, but gives up the takedown. Again, Guliev looking to secure. Double leg clasps the hands together beautifully, pulls the hips away. And look now to pass into a more dominant position. He's wasting no time to look for the back here. Let's see if he makes the adjustment. He stays low on the belt line. He wants to try as low as he can. If you imagine Masek was wearing a belt, he wants to keep himself as close to that belt line as possible. You see, that's why Masek's trying to elevate himself to the sky to try and shake Yuliev off of his back. Yuliev now, with one hook in, he's kind of triangling, almost like a half guard from the back. Now both hooks in. He's got to stay low on the belt line now. Might look to flatten his opponent out here. And it could prompt Masek to give up the mount. Big ground and pound from Guliev. And he's in a great position here if he can maintain this back control. That's it. To get out of this position, almost has to give up the mount. He's got to try and circle into his opponent. He could try and maybe stand to his feet and use the cage to hold up Guliev so he's not wearing all the weight and then try and shake him off or turn into him. Hammer fist here from Guliev. Guliev now lost the right hook, lost both hooks. And immediately that enables Masek to stand back to his feet. Masek to try and reverse out of this position. He could also look to turn into his opponent. He does just that, pummels the underhook beautifully. And that's the difference here. You see the fighters that have more experience up against the cage and understand that underhook's king. 
they'll be have more success in the defense up against the cage almost certainly with those under pummeling on it is definitely a key to defend the takedown and enable the takedown yourself and we're seeing that here from Masek you can pummel that right arm as well he's going to have optimal control Might use it to whizzer in this position Hikes him up beautifully. Golik to circle his back off the cage here. And they have done a great job of full pressure with their foot, few foot stomps. Nice knee there from Masek. Great takedown defense from Masek. He's really start to evolve as this fight goes on. Interesting round from these two. Masek definitely has made the adjustments to try and avoid that takedown from Guliev. Guliev has got to use those strikes to mask his takedowns now. He was the takedowns away, drove forward, clasped the hands together, pulled the hips up, using power and strength there to get the takedown. He was the back control, flattened out opponent. Guliev slamming the punches in from all angles. Masek did a good job of weathering the storm though, keeping the guard up nice and high and also not giving up the choke. on the clock. Guliev in the blue, Masek in the red. And Masek now has got a box, spool and brawl. I'd stay away from the kicks if I were him. This is exactly what he needs to do. Fire those punches in combinations and circle it off. He's got to keep his back off the cage, however. And on the flip side, Guliev has got to punch his way in for these takedowns. He's got to make Masek believe he wants to strike and then drop down for those takedowns. Beautiful suplex there from Guliev. Already looking to improve his position. Nice turn from Nasset. Sensing the ample opportunity there to turn off to his back. Still not in the dominant position, however, but it's better than having your back taken. That's why you see he goes to his back. An okay, arm choke attempt here from Guliev. bit of trouble levering the arm across. He needs that left arm across the neck of Masek to finish that choke. Masek turning down now. He's got to be careful about doing that and giving his back up. Great reversal here from Masek. Finds himself in the top position now. He's got a minute and 30 seconds to work here in round three. He's got to start thinking about posturing up here and passing the guard into a more dominant position. For the stand up here. He's got just over 50 seconds to work. Masek throwing a big overhand right, gives up the takedown. Smart play by Huliev to sense that. He used the timing to change this into a grappling match. This really has been his path to victory is to be able to initiate the grappling, the control, and expose the back here for Masek. Masek has largely just been defending the majority of this fight. Underneath the chin here, could roll to his back for a head and arm triangle potentially. Look for him to figure four the arms together. Here we go, he's off to the side now. Difficult to finish from that angle, but the fact that he's threatening it as well allows him to advance to the next movement. Masek is defending the choke, and then immediately he have looks to get both hooks in. Both hooks in now. Masek trying to reverse out, dying seconds of the round here. 
time. And a great performance from here from the Ukraine. Masek doing a great job of defending, however, we take a look at the replay. We've seen that, the nice handy work here from Masek. That's what he needed more of. There's fast punches. But this is what he gave up. This big belly to back suplex there from Uliev from the Ukraine. Masek did a good job of switching this position. He rolled at the right time and ended up in the top position, but we would go to a judge's scorecard to render the decision. Sir. <laughs> 